Hey everybody, this is Hemp and Seaweed. So what we're going to talk about today is right now this fender is rigged and it is completely useful the way that it is. However, this is the only cleat I have on this side of the boat and I need this cleat to be available for a mooring line. So what we're going to do is replace this traditional line with another split piece of three strand line run through this device which will hook onto the rail. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we have this device here that I bought. The goal of this is to splice, we're going to do an eye splice in three stranded line. We're going to do an eye splice around this hole in the top of a fender. And then we're going to run this line through here so that this can clip on top of a rail. We'll have the line or the fender will be set at just the right height so that it clips onto the rail and hangs down on the side of the boat in the same place every time. That's the project. So I don't need this yet. I'm going to just set this to the side. What I do need is some um, tape to keep our fender handy because we're going to run the line through. So another tool I've just added here. Normally you could use a proper marlin spike. Mine is missing in action right now. I don't know where it is. So instead I'm going to use this tool which is very similar. Really just kind of long to help you uh, separate the fibers of the rope. Super important to have. And then the other thing we have here is this is really um, we call it a line cutting gun. It's really a soldering gun. We've added this extra blade tip on here uh, which helps it. It heats up and then you basically cut through the rope. It melts it sears the end. So to get started, uh, working with a soldering gun as a line cutting gun, you definitely have to be careful because it's, I mean, it gets red hot. We'll see that in a minute. Okay, so the goal here is to feed this line through and we're going to make an eye splice. So we're going to take this section of the line, we're going to separate out these strands, and we're going to work it back into this line. We're going to weave it in there. And that should be a uh, one of the strongest ways that you can put an eye in three strand line. I'm going to start with a little piece of painter's tape here because I don't want my strands to unravel too much. I only want to unravel when I need to do the eye splice. Take this rather tight, right? We'll need to separate these. So that's another thing you can use this line cutting gun for or a soldering gun. See it very quickly heats up. A little bit of smoke coming off of it. There we go, Quick, and already it's glowing red hot. So at this point I'm gonna separate these. A little bit of flame there, no big deal. Be very careful with that. Still glowing red hot. Should be able to hit this one more time to separate it. Put a bit of burning action in there. Again, right here, try to separate these two. Right. I'm done with the line cutting gun for now. Set that to the side. So, now I have these three strands. That's why I call this three strand line. So, what we're going to do now is pick our point of entry into the line. Here we are back. Suppose we look at our line. Yep. These lines are crossing almost perpendicular to the uh, to the these core strands here. So I'm gonna start by feeding the first one in. Pull it taut. This one is going to go over and under. Always gonna snug up. Okay. There go. These two are not coming out of the same place in the line. That's good. Last one. Back. So as you snug things up, it starts to look a little more sensible. So the important part is that all these three lines are coming out of different parts of the main line. And now we're going to do over and under on each one of these. This one is going to go over this line, under this next one. Okay. 
rotate it. This one's going to go over and under. So I'm going to take a minute to retwist these lines, hoping to make them look more uniform with the line they're blending into. And now once again, I'm going to go over and under. This one, going over this one, under this one. Now again, this strand over this one, under this one. Again, the importance that they all come out of different. Now again. And under. So now we're just sort of simulating tension on the line. One more set of tucks is what we call these. So you always want at least three tucks. As we uh, go to finish this, I'm going to pull on it, tighten, twist all these lines. Right. So that's a nice place. So it's safe to take this tape off now. So this could actually be snugged up a little bit. Right. So this eye splice is nearly done. So in order to prevent this from coming unraveled, we're going to do a temporary whip. We're not going to do a, thing, a permanent whipping because I don't have a sail needle right now. A good temporary whipping lasts a long time. What I have here is we call this sail twine. This is a, a natural fiber. They um, saturate it with wax or they impregnate it with wax. So it's designed to be used uh, in areas that are wet. Now what I'm going to do is this basically just puts tension on the line or on the whipping to help things stay together. Uh, so you'll see I'm going to... <clears throat> I'm going to leave a bite in the line here. You'll see uh, this this bite. This will come in important at the end. And so I'm gonna. I want this thing to be about a I don't know, maybe half inch or so. It's just gonna really hold pressure on this thing. So it's a little wonky to start. So I'm wrapping the line back onto itself. And I'm pulling really tight. And I'm just doing wraps. And more wraps. Hold on, this too. Hold on, this too. I'm creating an area of tension, tension that holds the eye splice together. Work the bitter ends of this eye splice back underneath itself. Thank you. 
Okay, so this is key right here. Gotten to the end. I'm going to take this piece, feed it through that eye that we left, or that bite that we left, keep tension on it. Now, as I pull tight on this line, you'll see that I get smaller and eventually will draw that line right inside. Before it disappears too far, I'm going to take my little scissors, snip it off because I want to I want to pull that end inside. It disappeared right in there. I'll take my scissors. Snip that guy off. That's it. Now I have a temporary whipping in this eye. So the last thing we're going to do is trim off these ends. There we go. Again. it. I have an eye splice. It's a three-stranded nylon line. Uh, the last thing we do is we're going to feed this. So let's say we'll go about six feet. Should be about six feet. So now this line, we can run it through our fender hanger. For now, we're just going to tie a figure eight knot, which is our stopper knot. Important. Figure eight. The figure eight is going to keep the line from coming out. This will tension up, and so I should be able to hang this on the a one inch bar. We'll get the height right, but we'll be able to set them, hang this fender. And so now that I've finished the eye splice and the temporary whipping, now we'll see how this fender quickly clicks in place on the rail, protects the hull, and leaves this cleat available for a mooring line.